It's Mike from MM Tracks back with another video. Let's check it out. To this after finding out exactly what the BPM of the original track is, um, I made it out by John P. Key. I'm going to go ahead and create a click track for it. At least it's one of the very first things that I do uh, when I get started on all my tracks. All right, so so now that we created this click track, let's go ahead and um, listen to how it sounds. too much. All right, so after you cover it, that um, click track, you go ahead and um, focus in on the other instruments. Now, it, it, is, it depends on you and your preference in terms of what instrument you actually want to um, create first. Um, then just go ahead and create another audio track. Now from okay, there. So I went ahead and created both the piano track and also the keys section to this track. Let's take a listen real quick. I kept it very basic, very simple. Usually, usually do that in most of my instrumentals. I don't really play all over the place. Try to keep it true to the actual track. Kind of jump ahead in certain sections. sound like too much right now but once it's put all together with the rest of the instrument it, it'll start to come together all right so I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead and go ahead and create the next instrument all right so the next track I created was the kick for the drum set I mean if you notice here there's actually five separate drum um, actually five separate tracks that I created for the actual kick itself and this is just me basically listening for a certain kick sound that I'm listening to in the drum set that's being played so therefore um, if you can't get it in one take the actual kick um, I never played the, the, the kick and the snare and the cymbal and all in one track I separated out that allows me to go back and, and, and have multiple tracks to get as close to the sound that I'm listening to in the original um, song itself. Let's have a listen to it real quick.
jump a hand in a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and created the bass track for this instrumental. And just like the kick, um, the bass had to be separated out into six separate tracks uh, to completely get the exact bass line I was looking for that was in the actual um, original track itself. Let's take a listen to it. Jump ahead to the next section of the song. Okay, so I went ahead and added the remaining parts of the drums, the snare, added some shaker and hi hat, the added a clap under the, the snare, and, and added the cymbals the tracks as well. All right, so I just added all the brass sections, all the brass tracks to the um, instrumental. So let's see what it sounds like. this next part where it changes keys back up a little bit all right so the final um, two sections were added to the the track and instrumental, the organ section and the guitar section. And this pretty much completes the entire instrumental. What I would do from here is go ahead and mix everything down, do all my panning, volume levels, add any sort of filter that I want to each track or each section. Then I would go ahead and do a bounce down for the project save it upload it bam done that's done for the actual instrumental from there from creating stems i would go ahead and bounce each section into one track that one track for each section would provide me with each individual stem that i need for um, a live environment which i use ableton live to run all of my stems